married, darling. You got married again. <laughs> I did. Congratulations. Thank you. Now, this guy, let me get to understand it. You were married to him many, many moons ago. I was. And you had a kid with him. Yes, I did. The child, you got divorced. Mm -hmm. Is that allowed in Mormonism to get divorced? Oh, it Mormon? better be that I've been divorced <laughs> a couple <laughs> times. <laughs> well, because, you know, the Catholics don't allow it. I don't know if the Mormons do. But do the Catholics do? They do, do. They do it anyway. Well, yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, well yeah. what you're saying is, is that <clears throat> in our faith, we get married in the temple, which is not, you know, death to us part is eternal. It's an eternal um, commitment. Yeah. And so, you know, in order to receive a temple divorce, there has to be, you know, legit reasons and have it be very... So what were the reasons? You want to tell me? Not really. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's fine. You say whatever you want. But you had a child. Did you, did you get custody of the child? Uh huh. Well, he's 28 now. Yeah, but you stayed with you, the baby, the boy. When well, you I mean, we boy? shared in you in shared. visitation and mm -hmm. things like that. Yeah. Okay, so now you you're done with that marriage for whatever reason. Oh, you're talking about the second one? No, no the, the first, first one. one. Oh yes. What was his name? What is his name? Steve. Steve. Same as your Same Steve. Same as mine. Right. Yes. So then you um, get married somebody else. I did. You had a couple of kids. For 20 years. You adopted a whole bunch of kids. I can't remember which ones. <laughs> oh, good. That's good. <laughs> That's right. That's the way it's supposed to Absolutely. be. Absolutely. And, um, and then you got rid of him. He's gone now. Uh-huh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> On to number three, who happens to be number, number one. one. Wow. <laughs> Which is fascinating because, I mean, I have trouble with it, to tell you the truth. Why? I would never remarry my ex-husband. I mean, if I wanted to remarry him, I would have stayed married. What, what happened there? Well, you know, that's, it's interesting. I think time. I think we were young. You know, yeah. you get a lot of pressure and opinions and, and all kinds of things that hit you. And um, I don't know. Maybe we both just matured, grew up. Mm -hmm. And uh, he is phenomenal. He's an amazing. We've always just been the same. I don't know how to explain it other than there's just um, a connection. Where did you meet him in the first place? Through our son. You know, we had kind of gone our separate no, ways. No, in the first place. When you first met him, where did you meet him? Yeah. Oh, you you like a hundred years ago? <laughs> Tell me something more about it. Through your son, you met your first husband? <laughs> yeah, a hundred years ago. He played, ba he was professional basketball, and he oh. played, and, and uh, we met through BYU, and I think somebody introduced, was it one of you brothers? Right, was it you or Jay? Know. I don't remember. Me. Nobody remembers. It was a long yeah. time ago. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, Tito. So, Tito so, was so, so just one more question on that topic. <laughs> Jermaine. Um... Is there a, there was a sexual attraction that had carried over from those well, now years? Now we're getting into the good okay, questions. Okay, so what you're asking yeah. is, was there always some kind? No, there was. Was there a spark? No, was there and, a spark? and it was one of those things that really, um, uh, Stephen, son Stephen, said, Mom needs some help. And so, you know, he helped move some things. I was kind of left with all these kids. And it wasn't initially. He was just always a really good friend. You mean when he came back into yeah. the picture? Yeah. No, I was definitely divorced and yeah. moving on with my life and, and truly made a decision that I really just wanted to get my children raised. I think that every woman does that. But, you know, my feeling is, is that you don't really, you really shouldn't be looking for a relationship until um, you feel like your self-esteem is where it should be. I said that on Oprah. Right. You know, you marry at the level of your self-esteem. Well, and you said on Oprah, you can't say it here. I'm sorry. Okay. Can I ask well, you? there you go. Can I ask you a question? Yes. yes. You don't agree with this. You said, just said that a second ago. Well, tell no, me, but she was why. asking. She was no, asking. no, she said you don't agree. Why? Yeah, why? who's interviewing who? Uh, well, no, I'm turning the uh, table. Well, I agree with her if it were my second husband. Yeah, no. What problem me... do you have with it? Because it's true love. I mean, it, it, I, the way I, I said you. it, the way I said it earlier, it is a Cinderella story with bumps in the road with a beautiful happy ending. Right. What's your problem, Jay? Right. No, I don't have a problem with it. I'm just. I'm Who is just, he? I think it's lovely. I'm yeah. happy for her. I'm no, just, but you're I'm just curious. Inquiring. And because I think a lot of people would wonder, you know, about it. But we, but I would say about two years ago, we said, okay, let's see what's what's happened. Because we didn't want to hurt our son. We didn't right. want to hurt other kids. I didn't want anybody to know. And I fell in love. I fell madly in love. And Again, with the same guy. Oh, my gosh, yes. See, I've always had a great so. relationship with Steve. I, <laughs> Have he's you always, always liked he's him? He's always been a, a great so guy. So you, you, you approve of the I, whole I thing. not only approve, I condone this whole thing. You because, do? Oh, yeah, because do you you know, he's been there yeah. for, for many, many years to help out the children, even in another marriage, okay? He's been so there he's for those kids. So he's a good guy. He's, he's a, a really guy. good. He's a good guy. <laughs> great guy. Yeah. I'm, I'm so glad, really. You know, I didn't even know until a year ago. I guess my kids, like, put paint cans up and it spilled all over my basement. I was out of town. They were afraid what their father would do. They called Steve and he came over and like, you know, cleaned up the paint and did the walls. I didn't even know this What's until up with I the other one. What's his name? Okay, we're good. We're not going to go there. <laughs> 
have a <laughs> no, <laughs> no. I just say that it was so funny though. I just I didn't even know that. But he's always he's been very two. supportive of number of, two, uh, number two, the number two husband, oh, the number two husband. What was his name? And the number commercial. Two <laughs> Okay. All right. Now, um, so that, that's good. I'm happy for you both. And now you have a hit show in Vegas, the two of you. Joy, what's going and on? you're just Bless. back to being Donnie and Marie. Oh, I like this. Can you do that again? But Donnie that's and really Marie. nice. She didn't even want, you didn't even want to see these. Uh, well, yes, see, those are beautiful. Those. Yes, very see. nice. Yeah, my rings friend get Tracy. It, see, Tracy rings make it. my finger itchy. That's why. So you don't wear a ring? Well, I'm not married. Who's Steve? Steve is my BF. <laughs> yeah. Oh, are you going to get married? He, she just said together. rings we'll, make her itchy. We'll be together this July <laughs> for 29 years without being married. What's his problem? Why doesn't he pop the question? Oh, he pops it. And you? <laughs> and, what, and what do you do back? <laughs> what do I do back? <laughs> yeah, I, you just don't want to get married to Steve. Is that what it is? No, I love but Steve. But do you like him? I love Steve, yeah. well, Why don't you marry him? Well, that's why I don't want to marry him, because I love him. Yeah. Okay, sit tight. We have much more to talk I about. I think we have issues. <laughs> Um, you guys are famous Mormons, I must tell you. Uh, you, Glenn Beck. Glenn Beck, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, who else? Mitt you. Romney. Mitt you. Romney. No, yeah. not me. I'm not from Utah. I'm from Brooklyn. We're Catholic. Actually, <laughs> and Jewish. actually you know what? There and are Jewish. more Mormons outside of the United States than there are in the United States. Yeah. They're all, where are they? They're all over the world. We're trying it, to find them. <laughs> What will you do? Have you with seen them? those missionaries out there? <laughs> what will you do with them when you find them? No, they're, they're, they're like 13, 13 million plus members of, of the Mormon. Well, you church. know, the Book of Mormon is playing. Did you say that? I haven't seen it yet. No, but I, I heard. Just, I think I it's heard. amazing. What, you, what did you hear? Tell well, me. I heard that there were some very funny things. I heard there were some very irreverent things. Very irreverent. Yeah. yeah. Have you seen it? Yes. And? It's the greatest show I've ever seen. <laughs> You're kidding me. I love it. It's up there with the producers and Gypsy no. in, my book, in my book. No way. Fabulous play. Yeah, that's, that's what I heard. Yeah. And um, but of course, and, and I heard that offended. there were a lot of non-truths in it that you know well, where they musical. always. But you know, I, I haven't seen. In it. fact, I want to ask you a few questions about it because sure. I don't know anything about Mormonism, so that's where I learned about it. You know, well, and I think that's the wrong know place to go. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that is not a good representation. I believe you. Of our I mean, faith. I've interviewed the sister wives. You know, and I watched that oh, show. Big that, that, see, that, again, Mormons. that is not a good representation. That's, that's okay. Polygamy is not even part of our faith. Why not? It was a good idea, it wasn't was, it? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with polygamy? I like polyandry myself, you know, where the wife I gets like ten to, to do laundry. Polyandry? polyandry. I've never heard of that term. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like the word husband is andry, A-N-D. I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. See what you learn on, the, on Joy's show. Well, all I can say is at least he married them, right? Yeah, the guy who had sister wives, he married all of them. I yeah. got it. That, that's not and our not, faith. Wait a second. That's not our faith. They're a real family. They're not jealous of each other, those women. Because mm. I would say, you know, like, like what, 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 when, I, when he goes to bed with the other one, aren't you mm. upset? No. I saw your show. Probably they're like, good, let, him, let her do it. <laughs> and thus, she's not wanting to get married. Exactly. <laughs> and thus, Joy is not a Mormon. <laughs> But, but explain something. But you know she who, finds joy. You know who was offended by it? <laughs> Kathy Lee Gifford was offended by this. She's not even a Mormon. What's up with her? Well, I, I understand there, there's a, some, some uh, sacrilegious things in there. I mean, anytime you use the word, the name okay. Jesus Christ in a sacrilegious uh, type of oh, yeah. context, I well, have a little bit of a problem. There's a with song it. called uh, F You God. Okay, see, I got a problem with that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. But it, you know, but the, well, but it's, it's you know what? Look, look the at context. the commandments. Okay, the commandments say no, don't take the Lord's name in vain. Yeah. I think that would be taking the Lord's name in vain. Yes. And so those are the types of things that we try to have reverence and respect for God. Right. And so you know, I mean, we can always you can always laugh when but, things get uncomfortable or yeah, blue it, it, or whatever. Well, but let me explain you to you know what, what I have for. to tell you though. But, yeah. My yeah. belief is that I am so grateful to God. For my blessings, I'm so. I, I'm a woman in my business for 48 years. That's that's not that's an exception. How old are you? She's I'm 94. 170. <laughs> no, but you know, I thank God every day. I look at my life. I've been through ups and downs and everything in between. Tommy? Well, she doesn't really but, appreciate everything I do for her. But those are the things. You know, you can laugh at things. You can be irreverent to things. You can find. You know, do we have to say, okay, well, it is what it is, yeah. yes. But that is not a representation of but who you know, we are. But you know, a lot of Mormons are coming to see it. That's, People that's are coming true, but that doesn't mean everybody can, can uh, sanction but, it. But, but, but see, there's, there's blasphemy, like, blasphemous are you, things going you on. You say you're Catholic oh, okay. and also Jewish. It's like I'm not Jewish. I'm Catholic. I'm Italian Catholic. Italian Catholic. Yeah. Oh, I thought you said Jewish earlier. No, well, I, 
You might as well Aren't be. Aren't we all? I mean, <laughs> when you get right hey, back down to we Adam, all started we're there. all the same thing. We all you know? started there. It's true. But see, in the play... But I mean, there are many, many levels of, of belief within all faiths. I mean, I study all religions. I mean, I've read the Tanakh, and I've read everything. I mean, everything... Tanakh? Could, What's that? What is that? The Kabbalah. Oh, Kabbalah. the Kabbalah. Yeah. Oh. Uh, the you know, Tanakh? whatever. Uh-huh. She just wrote the Tanakh. You Tanakh? should read it. It's, it's like a Tanakh, but I mean, right I study all that. So, you know, you have to respect everybody and what they believe. Tanakh, Tanakh, who's there? I love this show. This is the great show. <laughs> um, Cheers. But, all right, so explain the magic underwear to me, because yeah. that I don't know about. They, they you know what I'd rather them. not? I'll tell you why. Why? Yes, we were. Are you wearing them? Yes, I am. And I'll, I'd rather not get into it, because it's not secret. It's just so sacred. But it, it makes a, people laugh when you say magic underwear. So no, why it does. I mean, it's because, funny. Because, because I'll tell you joy, something. Because, they don't understand. They don't okay. understand. Because if you, don't could, understand. Go, if you could go through the temple, yeah. okay, the, the, the ceremony there, it goes back to the same ceremony in Solomon's day, now all those, those sacred temples back then. Not everybody was allowed in there. But the promises we make to, to God, yeah. you know, this magical underwear, what do you want to call it? All it is is an, it's a, an outward. Symbol. It's an outward expression of an inward commitment. But why underwear? Why not the magic shirt? The magic well, wire ring. The magic wire, do you know, wire ring. Do you know, yeah, wire ring. Do you know what's you know, interesting? Why? Way back in the in the uh, right. the days of you know of, uh, uh, Jerusalem days, the old the Old Testament days. Oh, really? They back used to then. wear those things in front, on their forehead, yeah. you know, to remind them, or something on their hand or, or arm or something like. It's the Study, same thing. You go back. It's to a reminder of the promises you make to uh, and to. Those commitments and commandments that you say, okay. God, I promise I, to keep. I just right. think that you know, are we different? Are we weird? No, we have no. more fun than anybody on the planet. So you know, you when, if you want to know what we believe in, <laughs> I know you have a lot of kids. You know, yeah. seventeen what, last count. Well, what else can we bin do? Laden, no. <laughs> uh, Osama bin Laden had fifty-three siblings. How yeah. many have you got? <laughs> <laughs> the only thing we got in common with him is the letter O, okay? <laughs> That's right. The big O. That's it. Um, do you think Mitt Romney could win being a Mormon? Or do you think this I don't know. Could Kennedy do it being a Catholic? I mean, that's remember, I, well, that's what comment. I'm saying. Very I mean, it was the comment. same kind of thing that went on for him. Well, he's Catholic. He's Catholic. But you know what I think? Why right. don't they look at people as who they are? Because I that's think the nowadays, reality of especially, Mormons, you know. especially the Book of Mormon being a hit on Broadway, yeah. I think people are understanding more about Mormons. Well, that we're don't not say weird. that because I heard it doesn't have anything to do with well, what we no, really but, believe. Well, no, but but the, <laughs> but the term Mormon now is just not weird anymore. It's just like. We're just like the Catholics. We're just like the Jewish people. Just be we're just careful like, where you get your information exactly. from. Exactly. Because there's okay. so much out there that's not true. It's like going on, on Googling something and saying that's the gospel truth. No.